Hello everybody, WWJD here of the Pacific Storm Allies Steam Group. I'm here with another tutorial on how to mod Pacific Storm Allies. And you can see we have uh, my background here for the unofficial 1.7 patch. I recently just photoshopped that, low quality, but still will get the job done. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take models and apply them to units in Pacific Storm Allies. In this tutorial I will be using models from or a model from the website subsim.com. Primarily these are either modern made or uh, models taken from the game Silent Hunter uh, 3, 4, and 5 I believe. So without further ado let us get started. The first thing to note is that because I am using models from subsim I have a few extra steps to do that you might not have with the models that you may be using. And some specifics may be changed depending or altered um, depending. So I'm going to show you with mine and hopefully that will at least give you a good overview of what I'm doing. And for the tools I will be using in this tutorial I will make sure to leave a link in the description below where you can find the tools. All of them are free and so you can just go ahead and download them. So the first thing is decide the unit you want to make. In this case I am going to be upgrading the model on the Mogami Cruiser. Now this is already a ship that is in the game so I do not actually have to build all of the other files for it. I just have to apply a new model. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually get a model in a format that I can edit. Currently what Subsim does is they have the .dat files for the Silent Hunter games. So I'm going to use a tool S3D and I am going to uh, convert this dat file and I am going to extract the obj's or .obj files. Those files I'll be able to import and edit in the program Blender. This is a free program that you can get Ogre uh, plugins for. These Ogre plugins will allow you to export um, files compatible to Pacific Storm Allies Ogre graphics rendering engine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do this off, off camera and get the um, models converted and then from there I will come back and show you. Okay everyone, I am back. I have exported all the uh, mo needed models and I have imported them into Blender. So here we are with our model and as you can see it's actually several models put together right now. They're not joined, they're just individually placed there. So what we're going to want to do is join them all together. Select your base, hit A twice, Control J. There you go. Your model is joined and it is one. You do not have to do this, however I find it helpful. Go to shading, smooth. When you select this, it sets the shading to be obviously smooth. Next thing, you're going to want to align the model so that it will look right in when it's rendered in Pacific Storm Allies. So go to object, Rotation. I have memorized this. This is for the subsim models, and it should be different if you get your models from a different source. So rotation zero, or x zero, y zero, z minus ninety. Enter. Scale ten, all across the board. Now, once we've done this, we have to apply our rotation and scale. Select your unit. Hit Control A. Apply location. Again rotation and scale. And so there we are, we have our unit and we have a model. But now we must apply a material and a texture. Go to the material tab, new. Give this a custom name. The reason for giving this a custom name is so that when you import this with maybe more than one custom model, the materials do not interfere with each other. After, now you can mess with these settings, however I choose not to. Now let us select this, make sure that is selected or highlighted, and go to textures. Once we're at textures, go ahead and add new, type, image or movie, come down to image, open, select your texture. Now you have a preview of the texture that you are applying to your model. Next we are going to come down in the same texture tab, come to mapping, coordinates, UV, or map, coordinates UV, map, UV map. Once we have done that, we have one final step to do before we are ready to export 
our model into the a mesh format. We're going to want to actually unmap or unwrap um, this model. We are going to hit tab, come down here, A to select all, go to image, open image, select the texture, open, and now if we select this and go to viewing as texture, we will see that our unit is properly mapped and textured. Now obviously in game it will look better because we will have our custom shaders and um, but this will give you a good preview just to make sure everything seems mapped properly. I'm going to take this on back to solid. At this point I will usually save the project as a blend file in case something happens I need to recover it later. But for now I'm just going to go ahead and export. Make sure that you have your model selected and that you have applied the um, the um, uh, rotation and scale. Go to File, Export, Ogre3D.Scene and .Mesh. This is a plugin that allows you to export to Ogre meshes. Now I will leave a description or a uh, link in the description below for the plugin. You're going to want to make sure that you have Export Meshes checked, Export Meshes Overwrite, and Export Materials selected. I leave Copy Shader Programs turned on. Once you're here, select your out or your export path, hit export ogre and wait. Okay, once it's done, you'll get a mini report. You'll show you the original vertices, exported vertices, original faces, exported triangles, how many meshes were exported, and how many materials were exported. Everything is correct. You will come into looking. Uh, where all your files are that you exported to, and you will see NCA Mogami.001.mesh.xml. This is actually a .xml uh, file. It exports in .xml, and you will need a converter to edit it. So I will also leave a a, uh, a link in the description below to show you this editor. This is the Ogre XML converter. Just simply drag and drop over, and it will convert your mesh file, your mesh.xml to mesh. We are not quite done. We now have a mesh that is properly textured and mapped. However, um, we have not actually applied it to the unit in game. If you watched the previous tutorial, you ha will have learned that the SMU actually applies the model to the uh, actually applies the model to the unit. So let's open the uh, SMU file. And what I do is for the default units that we are editing. I will type in mesh and I will find the mesh. Or we'll see find where it says dot mesh, I should say. Um, so I will change that to dot mesh. And my rule of thumb is if it says corp in it, you need to remove it. There are always exceptions, however, I have yet to find one. I'm going to pause the video while I go through and remove all of the needed default meshes. Alright, so I have gone through and I have removed all of those uh, unneeded meshes. So now the final step is to scroll down until we find the first string name mesh value equals uh, quote quote. Here we are going to want to import the name of our uh, mesh you want to be exact and make sure you include the dot mesh at the end. Once you have completed this, go ahead save, then you are completed or you are done. Um, you just go ahead and stick this into your mods folder and everything should work properly when you uh, look at your unit. So if you have any questions, leave a comment in the description below or come to the Pacific Storm Allies uh, Steam group and check us out there and maybe we can help you out there. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the Steam group. If you're not a member, go ahead and join us there. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you here, there, or in the air.